Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about something just a wee bit different from what I normally do. And I honestly wasn't even thinking about talking on this topic until recently. Until I started hearing other gun tubers talking about why 6.8 SBC is the new up and coming round and really what made me just have to talk about this or kind of just inform people, at least give them my opinion, is when GunTuber started recommending an AR chambered in 6.8 SPC as opposed to a normal AR chambered in 5.56. So in case you guys are unaware of the current status, and it, it's a long-going kind of always in the background status, but it's gaining more traction now because the military are doing rifle um, Essentially, they're trying to select or find the next new combat rifle. And one of the contenders, or quite a few of the contenders, are actually using the 6.8 SPC round to help kind of replace the 5.56. Now, I want to make it very clear that I actually do enjoy the 6.8 SPC. I think it's a great round. And honestly, if you sit down and look at the ballistics, it's better performer. It's overall a better round than the 5.56. However, so I'm not doing this video to say that I love the 5.56 round. Like I said, I actually think it's a little bit underpowered and it's not my favorite round by any means. However, this is coming from being a realist. And this is why I don't think the 6.8 SPC, the Sesh 5.56, don't know why I'm pointing at it, but this is why in this video we're gonna be digging into why I don't think the 6.8 SPC is worth your time or attention and why you should just stick, especially if you're looking to get into an AR platform, you should just stick with the 5.56. And why I think that the military will be sticking with the 5.56 as opposed to going to the 6.8 SPC. Now, like I said, 6.8 is better than 5.56 in pretty much all regards. It might be a little bit heavier, you know, it might carry a few less rounds in the magazine, but for all intents and purposes, it's a better round than the 5.56. But there's one really big kicker to why I think 5.56 will continue to stay with the military and stay is as high a market acceptance as it has been. So ultimately, I don't think the military is going to go with 6.8 for one reason. And there's a couple reasons I will look at, but the first one is one that a lot of people, or actually no one has talked about. Sure, people say that, you know, the military might not accept it due to the fact that they'd have to rebarrel all their M4s, M16s, you know, all the guns they use. That's not really an issue, as other people have mentioned. It's not a problem for the government to do that or for the military to do that. Uh, they can certainly, and they certainly have the capabilities to do that. However, the one thing that the 5.56 has that the 6.8 doesn't have and won't have for a long time is the universal or international market acceptance. And what I mean by this is 5.56 is 5.56 NATO. It is a NATO spec cartridge, which means for the past 60 plus years, so allied countries such as South Korea, Britain, Canada, you name it, they've all built rifles, their own rifles, things like the L86, or Daewoo uh, rifles, I forget their names, but each country has made their own kind of battle rifles, but they all are chambered in 5.56. And that's the one thing they all have in common, besides they're usually, almost always, they have Stanag compatibility. So you have two really important factors of ammo and magazine compatibility. And I think of our army was to switch over to 6.8 SPC, the largest issue that they would face is that compatibility. So basically, if we were to go to war with any other country and we were having assistance from one of those aforementioned countries like South Korea, Canada, UK, all of them, they would be using rifles chambered in 5.56, whereas we would be using rifles chambered in a 6.8 SPC which would mean that we couldn't use their ammo, we couldn't use, we could use their magazines, but we couldn't use the ammo in the magazines. And as far as supply line goes, we would have to now work on getting 7.62 NATO, 5.56 NATO, and the 6.8 SPC into the troops that are fighting in those areas. 
So this becomes a bit of a logistical nightmare. And once again, it also becomes a nightmare if you're fighting in any foreign country where like, let's say Israel is closer to you than the US, it's gonna be much easier to work with Israel to get 5.56 ammo as opposed to working with them to get 6.8 because they haven't adopted 6.8. Now, I do think it would be of great benefit to 6.8 if it could become a NATO spec cartridge, then other countries could start building their battle rifles around 6.8 SPC. But until that happens, I don't really see our army going over to another ca caliber or cartridge unless it's been standardized across the board because this is the entire reason or maybe not the entire, but this was one of the large reasons and pushes to the actual NATO agreement was to standardize things such as small arms so that if we were in another country or if another country was with us, we could use their equipment, we could use their gear, we could use their ammo, and it would help cut down with supply lines and basically take all these different mixed and matched calibers and just make them one. So going over to 6.8 SPC would be kind of contradictory to what our army has already done for the last 60 plus years, which was try to keep everything standardized on an international level with our allies. So that is the primary reason I don't think we will be going to 6.8 SPC. And I know this seems like a really long-winded way of saying that you shouldn't buy a 6.8 SPC, but I do want to note that if you've been around in the gun community for any length or period of time, 6.8 has actually been around since 2004. And repeatedly, companies such as Colt have tried to push um, 6.8 into M4s, M16s, and they adapt just fine. But the government hasn't, or the military hasn't accepted them for a reason. So in the end, I would not listen to all the hype. I know 6.8 seems like a new, cool, kind of wildcat cartridge, and it's certainly newer than, you know, our good old 5.56 here. And once again, I'm not trying to belittle it. I actually love the 6.8 SPC round. And personally, I do hope one day that it becomes more prevalent because it truly is better than the 5.56 in just about every way. But until it becomes more of an internationally accepted round, you're not going to want to switch your rifles or purchase buy into that kind of program unless you already have like a 5.56 upper. Now, if you already have 5.56 upper and you know ammo for it, then go ahead, do whatever the hell you want. But I would highly encourage still, if you are looking at getting into an AR platform, make sure you stick with the basics. 5.56 is here to stay. I mean, this is not, this round isn't going anywhere. Even if tomorrow, for whatever reason, the army did say, screw it, we're going to 6.8 SPC. You know, this round is gonna be around for a long time. And once again, being that it's used internationally, this round is pretty well solidified. Anyways, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.